Um, so I'm Seleka Anand. I'm in. I'm a faculty member in biological sciences at San Jose State University, and I did this project uh, with Jennifer Red, who is our director of eCampus at San Jose State. Um, the topic was the preferred instructional modality of students um, at San Jose State, and I got the idea from. One of the projects that was done last year, Craig, it might have been your, I think it was CSU San Bernardino, right? it might have been your project. Um, so thank you for that. And um, Ashley had shared all the, the previous um, ideas and designs. So um, really what we wanted to look at was uh, inspired by, by Craig, um, looking at our students' preferred mod modality of instruction and also factors that relate to their preferences. That was our, the goal of our study. Um, jumping right into the methods, we did a student survey. Um, we had, I'm just going to put all of this up. We had a pretty uh, good response. I actually had almost 500 responses, um, which, you know, is pretty good, but not if you think about how many students we have in the 20,000s, it's not great. But um, nevertheless, we had a complete, complete responses from 385 students. Um, it was a Qualtrics survey. The survey link was disseminated to um, all faculty uh, by faculty development, and they were asked to share the survey with their students. And I also kind of shared um, the, I sent emails to personal faculty contacts across campus, so not just in my department or college. Um, I did a try, I get, I got an idea from somebody's presentation about associated students, I think that was Tara's. Um, I did try to send the, um, I did fill out a form through Insta IR um, at a request to send it directly to students and, um, you know, they kind of prioritize and they they weren't able to uh, allow me access to that. So that would have been a great way to reach students. But we had many topics. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to jump into the results in the interest of time. But um, we looked at demographic information, preferred instructional modality. I was really interested as a science faculty in whether their preferences differed for different types of courses, like lectures, um, laboratory courses, majors, courses, and GE courses, and they actually did vary. So you'll see that. Um, and then we had open-ended questions for re the reasons for preferred modality. And I got a lot of the sa same responses as Kelly got at Cal Poly. It was very interesting to listen to her presentation. Um, what modality were students in when they started college? You know, were they online or what did they start before we moved online? Um, and then they're current, currently what types of classes they're taking. And then the sense of belonging, San Jose State has a pretty extensive sense of belonging survey that they completed. Um, and I just picked out like seven questions from there. So these are the demographics. And I have a lot of slides where I'm just going to, you know, these are summary slides for the archives, but I'm not going to go into all of it. Um, most of the students lived on campus or within one to 10 miles of, of the respondents. Um, most were not first generation. The majority of students were 47% were Asian, followed by 23% Latinx and 15% Caucasian. Most were female. Uh, mostly juniors, I think that I saw that on Kelly's as well, or um, survey, or maybe it was Tara's. Um, and most of the students from, for, were from business and science, although it was sent to, you know, all across campus. Um, average GPA, so we can see all of this, you know, 44% transfer students, so most were not. GPA was pretty good, 3.38. Uh, you know, uh, roughly 50-50 started classes before we moved online versus not on, not before we moved online. And then the, this is their, um, when they started college, this is how they started. And then this is their current um, modality. So most of them have a mix of in-person and online classes. So these are the results. Um, I separated them into, so this is their um, preferred modality. Um, I separated it by lecture classes where um, the green is in person and I just circled what the preference was. So the green 37% of students preferred in person followed by online asynchronous. Uh, laboratory classes, uh, the vast majority prefer in person. It makes sense. You want to be in, you know, doing hands on. And that's what really what their comments were um, resoundingly, you know, in favor of doing hands on activities in the classroom. 
Required majors classes, 51% um, of students preferred online, uh, sorry, in person. And general ed was really interesting. That was where we got a, a little bit of a switch. Online asynchronous was preferred. And when I get to the comments, um, you'll see um, the student's view of online, of uh, GE classes is, is quite interesting. Um, lots of reasons here. And again, I'm not gonna go through all of this, but very similar to what Kelly found. Um, what I did here is I, I divided it up a little bit differently. Like in, look, I read through all their text responses and then this, these are kind of how they grouped like in-person. I didn't group it by laboratory lecture, but in-person, these were the reasons, um, you know, not all of them obviously, but some of the reasons they liked in-person, some of the reasons they liked online and then general ed. Um, in-person, they, you know, uh, felt it was easy, you know, learning better, easier to learn, less distracted, um, engagement with the professor um, and the colleagues, uh, more in-depth, um, detailed, definitely labs. They, they were, <laughs> most comments were that labs were preferred to be in-person. Um, mental health suffers when taking online classes. That was a recurring theme, unfortunately. Online, just like Kelly's um, comments, flexible. Um, and then they, you know, we I can go to office hours if I wanted to see the professor in in person. Um, convenient. They like the recorded lectures that can be watched on their own time for either um, asynchronous classes or recorded Zoom lectures. That came up quite a bit. Convenient. A lot of people said um, they don't have to compete commute. There's more personal time, time to work out, time to spend with family or work. Um, and then, you know, some negative comments, good for flexibility, bad for focus, convenient, but not as good. Learning from bed is not good. I mean, we've all heard all, you know, these before. General ed was interesting. Um, this comment, this last comment came up quite a bit. Um, I just need to get them out of the way, get these classes out of the way. I felt like based on the comments, these general ed education classes were not highly valued. And that's, unfortunate and maybe something that our institution needs to address um, because I know there's a lot of you know work that goes into these GE classes and learning outcomes and I'm on I do assessments so you know we've got a lot going on and we do invest a lot in our GE classes so this is something I would probably bring up to administration um, as a concern uh, they, they say these are easy to complete online the classes are easy they can google a lot a lot of information um, you know, G courses are not applicable to my major. I don't want to come to campus for that. So not really great reasons for this. Something to follow up on. Uh, I was kind of surprised at how many comments were similar on that. Um, again, I'm not going to go into all of this in the interest of time, but um, these, what I did, so those were the, you know, uh, free responses. This was, you know, based on, you um, closed responses. So, you know, how far do you live from campus? What college are you in? You know, checkbox. Um, and these were the factors that um, were that the preferred modality was dependent on for each type of class. So again, just for completeness, but, um, you know, distance from campus, you know, was was one of the factors for lecture lab and majors classes, college. Um, and um, I have that summarized in another slide. So it varied. Um, this is the distance from campus was really um, one of the main factors here. So for lecture classes, um, those who lived on campus, so here's on campus and then going farther and farther. Um, and the green is the in-person. So, you know, really it, it seems like it's dependent on what where they lived, um, except we have this spike here for farther away from campus. They, a lot of them wanted to come to campus. And then we've got laboratory classes. Again, laboratory classes, really, it was resounding prefer in-person. So that's the green. And again, distance from campus as we go from left to right is increasing. Uh, majors classes, you know, again, in-person, a little bit more preferred. Um, more than 80 miles from campus, we have um, no preference is the high, is the tallest bar. And then, um, GE, there wasn't a dependence on distance from campus. That was not statistically significant. So 
Um, anyway, this is a summary table of, of the group comparisons. Um, and this, I'm not going to go over all of this, but just, you know, okay, so for majors courses, like, you know, it was dependent, the preference was dependent on ethnicity. And, and so a little bit more detail here. It's almost done. Um, sense of belonging. Um, looking at the seven sense of belonging questions, um, basically what I did is do any reverse coding and then calculate um, their overall sense of belonging for each student and then the, compared the mean sense of belonging for um, the various modalities for each type of course. So the sense of belonging was actually highest for um, in-person classes for lecture, lab, and required majors classes. And the GE classes, there were no significant differences. This is based on ANOVA, um, but it was a similar trend. So it trended toward um, higher sense of belonging for the in-person GE classes compared to the other modalities. But again, we have that interesting thing going on with GE where it, there was that preference for online. Um, so just in sum, um, the San Jose State students prefer the uh, in-person instruction for lecture, lecture laboratory majors classes. I didn't get into all the details, but I do have it in one of the tables there. Um, the college of the students in the College of Education actually preferred um, online classes, um, but um, it was a small group. For GE classes, as I mentioned, the San Jose State students prefer online asynchronous. And this was the unfortunate thing I took away from the comments that the GE classes do not seem to be highly valued. And um, the sense of belonging to the university is highest for the students who prefer um, in-person classes. Um, and then I also found that the preference for online classes is generally greater for students in the College of Education, as I mentioned in the first bullet point, but also doctoral students. We do have a couple of doctoral programs. And then um, students who were currently taking um, only in-person classes or a mix of in-person and online classes. So they generally prefer online classes. I'm not really sure how to explain that one, <laughs> but um, that's basically the findings. No, sounds Thank great. Lots of, lots of rich, rich data. There's like so much. 